Okay. So we're going, we're rolling? Yeah. Roll tape. Um, Empire East. Um, I think he was probably around 16 around when a lot of this was filmed, maybe 15. Probably between 15 and 17. He would come to Erie, mostly for the summers during this period and kind of just shack up with us. He was almost like my little brother at that point. Just kind of took him under our wing and rode every day. It was a good time for sure. This is at Jim's house. A lot of those jumps never were really very finished, <laughs> but we rode them anyway. <laughs> that makes a lot of this stuff that much more impressive. And I mean, they were, even by today's standards, just enormous. I mean, we're just sections of 25 foot plus jumps in a row that Mikey showed up and just started spinning them and jumping them. And during a lot of Empire East, he rode for Bully. <laughs> and then I, I, I believe it was Mosh that ended up picking him up. I remember Mikey was psyched when he, when he got his Mosh and he beat his Bully to a pulp in the back of our house. <laughs> There's definitely some footage of that somewhere. We didn't really let it surface. We didn't want it to come off the wrong way. I mean, I'm sure Mike was appreciative of everything Bully did, but it's kind of one of those funny things. He was really psyched to be on Mosh a little bit. Yeah, he was really psyched to ride a, a bike that looked like a toaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm sure there was a similar bike beating whenever he got off of Mosh. Where'd he go? Did he go from Mosh to Fit? To Fit, yeah. Mosh to Fit, wow. So he's stayed loyal, that's for sure. Yeah. He, he was a salty kid, like he was, <laughs> if you knew him, if, if you were friends, like you were friends, but if, if he didn't like you, you knew he didn't like you. Yeah, no, he wasn't afraid to voice his opinion, <laughs> that's for sure. I mean, he wasn't a dick. I mean, no, he wasn't a dick, kind of a dick, but <laughs> all with a, you know, kind of tongue in cheek with a, with a smart ass smile behind it all, you know. I mean, he was a really nice kid. He didn't, I don't think he never necessarily disliked anyone or wanted to disrespect anyone. He just, you know, as kids do, he just had some opinions and made them, made them known. <laughs> I'd always seen Mikey at contests, and we knew each other just from doing contests and stuff like that. He was always a dude that was like, like if 10 people were to make the finals, he was always like 11th or 12th <laughs> yeah, at, yeah. This, at this point, because he was super young and he, he wasn't like Mikey Aiken yet. Right, right. And I think it was this part where I was like, oh man, that little kid's starting to get pretty good now. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there's a few clips of him doing, uh, does a tail up right there, and I was like, oh, damn it. He learned tail ups, like I couldn't do tail ups at the time. Right, right. And I was like, damn, the kid's getting good. I don't know, he stayed away from a lot of the tricks. As, as soon as they caught fire, he seemed to kind of shy away from them, I think. But it definitely wasn't, I, it, I mean, anything he wanted to learn, he could just do. It's just the natural, yeah, yeah, for sure.